Hey everyone, it's Wowus. We're here uh, today looking at Deathwing and Heroes of the Storm. Uh, we're going to do a build guide, talk about his talents. Uh, this is especially for you know pub players, people who are playing quick match in the game. Maybe you're new to Deathwing. You see I'm Deathwing right here. I've teamed up with a Zagera, uh, a Valera, a Tassadar, and an Azebo. So not a particularly like um, strong team you know we've got definitely a lot of damage dealers um, but I'm really the only tank on the team so that uh, can be a little bit of a challenge the enemy team here has Sonia the uh, butcher uh, it's got junk rat it's got Leoric who's a pretty good tank and Sonia um, and Medivh uh, so in terms of this um, at level one, I want to talk about each of these talents, right, and why uh, we choose each. Now, the first thing you need to know about um, about Deathwing is that there are a lot of different talent builds right now that work very well. Um, and the talent build that I use is not by any means the highest win rate talent build. Um, and right now I'm using Hero's Profile since Hodeslogs has been um, kind of out of commission for a little while. Um, but this strategy works well for me and I find that it's very easy <clears throat> in terms of uh, when you're playing like a quick match. Um, I have a very, very high win rate with this. Um, at level one, I'm taking Draconic Might. What it does is, is my basic attacks against enemy heroes heal uh, for 30% of the damage dealt, and upon losing an armor plate, uh, I become protected. So each time you lose one of those, you get protection for a short period of time. It just helps you escape um, and, you know, obviously heal up a little bit. Um, and you'll see here, you know, like there, um, it just gives you the opportunity to sort of sit here and, and trade, where without this, you're a little bit more... Um, in the position where you're going to have to retreat more quickly because enemies can really melt down Deathwing once they get on him. If, you have, if you're playing against like a Tracer or someone like that, um, it's very, very difficult as a Deathwing to stay alive. You always have to watch your health as a, a Deathwing. You see here, I'm going to kind of melt this uh, enemy team, uh, the enemy minion wave, and then uh, I'm going to go up and heal. And the only way you can heal is to go up um, and fly away. Uh, so that's what I take at level one. Uh, in terms of the other options at level one, they're all pretty good. Um, and in terms, uh, Dragon Soul is the other really good choice. Um, they both have about a 60% win rate, so you can't really go wrong with either of them. Um, and you're going to see here um, what you should expect with Deathwing in terms of statistics is you're going to put out a lot of damage all right here. You should get a lot of experience because you're going to end up killing a lot of people. You're going to have a lot of self-healing, obviously. Um, you should have very few deaths and a lot of uh, kills and assists. Um, and so here we are right back in it. Um, for me, um, I prefer Deathwing's ranged uh, version. So you obviously you click one um, when you're... Uh, when you start, you, you know you start in the melee version. I forget what they're called, but one's the melee and one is the um, the ranged. And I use the range. I would say about ninety five percent of the time. Um, and I find that you don't need to switch at all, right? So you can almost ignore the other half. The one helpful skill with the melee is um, the sort of the charge that can be helpful to escape or to jump into a fight. But in general, you're going to see here almost everything that I do is going to be a ranged attack. Um, and here at level four, um, we're taking Dragon's Ire. Um, and so while I have three or fewer armor plates, and again, you have four at full, so when you have three or less, so when you're at 75% health or less, um, your damage is increased by 30%. This is overall like a very strong amount of damage. Um, now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the, the three ranged abilities you have. Now in both melee and range, you have obviously the fire breath. Um, that's really helpful. You see here, this is his E, that's a stun, those two sort of tracks. Um, you wanna use that a lot in team fights to engage. Um, and your Q, that flame breath, is used a lot to melt down the enemy minion waves. Um, so that's really what you want to focus your Q on. Now, in an, an objective like this, you have a lot of different options um, in terms of Deathwing has the ability to really be an annoyance, especially once you get to level 7, and I take Skyfall. Um, from the sky, I can drop these meteors on folks, and it really helps um, in some of the maps um, where you're going to choose this to, like, you know, stop someone from capturing, um, you know, if it's if it's a objective that they have to capture like a nuke or if it's, um, you know, one of the other objectives they have to stand there and capture like in Towers of Doom, um, you're going to want to take Skyfall. And what Skyfall does is you use that, uh, it becomes uh, an additional attack as, it's, as your E um, when you're flying. Um, it, you can drop meteors anywhere you have vision, 
Okay, so you need to have vision on folks. So I can't drop it on this Leoric because I don't have vision on him. Um, but you're able to drop anywhere you have vision and you deal uh, you deal damage in terms of that. And it heals you. Now, they nerfed this. <clears throat> when it first came out, it was very it did a ton of healing. Um, but you already get a lot of healing. You get about 100 healing per second when you're flying um, up above the map. So you don't really need it in terms of that. Um, and you'll see here, we're going to use the E to stun Leoric uh, and then try to finish him off here. Um, but he gets a good protect there from Medivh. But essentially, that's what you're aiming to do, right, is to um, to output as much damage as possible. And you see here, I'm going to actually use my ultimate <clears throat> to fly away. And this creates kind of a path of damage over time and, um, and a slow. So it's helpful both when you're being aggressive and trying to push down an enemy keep or um, towers or whatnot, but it also can be a very effective escape tool when you can't get out of a situation. And then we're just going to kind of sit on top of this minion wave and kill all of them. So again, it's just a lot of like lane control. Um, and you're you, you're pretty tanky. You're, you are a bruiser. You see here, I only have one armor plate right now. Um, so that's a little bit dangerous, but it means that I'm going to end up putting out like a lot of damage with my Q. Now coming up here at level 10, um, you have two options in terms of uh, your heroic uh, ability. And so the first is that, the one that I didn't take, which is good in some situations, um, is that when a uh, enemy fort falls, it, refl it refreshes your um, your ultimate or your heroic. Um, I don't, I've been, I started using that a lot when the game, when, it, when Deathwing first came out, but what I found is that he's not, um, there's not enough, t typically not enough forts uh, to worry about, especially if you're on a two lane um, map. So if you're in a situation where, you know, it's it's uh, Braxis or one of the other locations where there's only, um, you know, there's only the two um, lanes, you know, there's only going to be one, two, three, four forts. So it, you don't get a lot of value out of it. Um, instead, I prefer now to take Belling Roar. After one second, um, you unleash a mighty roar dealing 29 damage and causing them to run in fear. Um, and this can be really helpful when you combo it with your ultimate because essentially, you know, you can fly by someone, as you saw with that kind of path, um, and then fear them immediately backwards. And um, so that fear is very situational. Um, you can't just like drop it, but you want to find an, an opportunity where you're like on the wrong side or you can get yourself onto the wrong side, either because you've landed, you know, because you were flying up above and you landed somewhere or uh, because you use your, your heroic and get on the other side of an enemy hero and then hit your, hit your two um, and knock them backwards. Um, you see here Deathwing basically can solo uh, any sort of thing like this, no problem. He takes almost no damage from these folks, especially with all of his armor up. Um, so this is just an easy opportunity to, to get a lot of push going on these towers um, here at level, we're at level 12. So we're almost to level 13, um, but you see here a pretty easy ability here to just kind of sit on the objective. And I took just about, you know, maybe 20% of my damage there, um, just a little bit, uh, or just a little bit over 25%. Um, so not a ton of damage that you can just kind of sit there and take. Um, I forgot to mention his W. His W is not nearly as powerful as his Q uh, or his E, but his W is very cheap to use. It creates a slow, it creates a very low damage over time. And it can just be a good way to keep stealth heroes away, to keep um, make sure the enemy heroes aren't um, annoying you too much. So you can see like here, you know, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but you know, they're not, this Medivh is not gonna be able to land in the middle of this without taking um, some damage. And like, he's gonna put himself in a really bad position here. Um, you know, he's trapped in here now and you have a ton of body block to his Deathwing, right? So you gotta think about yourself as you're this huge character. Um, so you can literally sit there and just block people from moving um, out. Um, and so that's something you gotta be careful against if you're going up against a Deathwing. But when you are Deathwing, you wanna use your body to your advantage and basically trap enemy heroes in with you if you have the damage dealers with you, if you have uh, your friendly uh, damage dealers sitting there with you, um, you're gonna wanna body block people in and let your damage dealers put out damage. And then, <clears throat> you know, I would recommend if you're in a situation like that where you're body blocking somebody in, you're gonna wanna use your Q if you can. You're either gonna wanna like move around and trap them or you're gonna sit there with your fire and just, and just melt them basically. Um, 
you see here, it doesn't do a, like you can you can't even take down a full fountain with your Q at full um, kind of full strength, uh, but it still does quite a bit of damage. You can take down as you move up here a full minion wave, um, and you see here, you know the, the, these guys are all going to jump in here on Zagara. I'm going to drop my E to try to give him an opportunity to escape. But you see here, the Zagara can't get away. Um, but you'll see. You know, watch here in terms of this. You know, you drop your E right there, you stun. Um, you could stun up to two or three heroes. Now use your W, and this is now a slow right there. Um, so it makes it very difficult for Butcher to come across unless he uses his E. Um, and I can just kind of sit here and, and, you know, pound on this, uh, this Sonya down here. And then I wait for my Valera to show up. Um, and... You know, I wasn't sure how much damage he was going to do, so that was, you saw that um, sort of dust around me. That was the, um, that was my uh, ultimate here, heroic, the bellowing roar, to try to push uh, him, just Sonya, the wrong way. But he was obviously, the later got a good amount of damage, a good combo off on him. Now, I, um, I didn't get to mention at level 13, uh, Wicked Inferno is my choice here, right? This is going to um, reduce your cost per second of your Q. It just lets you use your Inferno even longer, your Molten Flame. It lets you use your Fire Breath even longer. Um, and after using Molten Flame, Deathwing gates 15 energy over 3 seconds. So you're going to regenerate very quickly. So this means that you can use your Q a lot more. And I use my Q an awful lot because I'm almost always using the ranged um, version of, uh, of Deathwing. Um, so you're going to want to sit on this and just keep using Q. Now there are some technically better options from um, Hero's Profile in terms of win rate, but I just like this. This is my style of play. I love to push lanes. I like to keep the game, uh, you know, put, keep the pressure on the enemy team. Um, Elemental Elementium plating here at level 16 is pretty much a must-have, um, in my opinion. And the reason for that is it gives you a shield ease as equal to 30% of your missing health rate seconds. And while the shield holds, Deathwing regenerates 2% of his maximum health per second. So this is a great self-heal that also gives you a shield. And it says when the shield is destroyed, Deathwing regains armor plates appropriate for his new health. So if you if you heal up to you know you, near your top, um, you could end up with all your armor back. Um, so it just is another way to kind of keep yourself in the game and sustain yourself. And you see here, right? We're gonna fear these guys away and let our Valera run, and then we're gonna drop our R uh, because this is again a slow and a damage. We stun here. So like now all of a sudden, what was a pretty easy. Um, opportunity for the enemy team to just follow us and try to kill a couple of us um, really got turned around here and again now Valir is on top of this Leoric and I believe yeah I think the Valir dies here I just missed the flame there um, if I had moved the flame a little bit to the left I would have got him um, and Leoric is um, very difficult for you to kill solo Right, especially with the Medivh here shielding him all the time. So I make the decision to do kind of a tactical retreat. You see here, my Valera was not happy with me at that moment. Um, but it was just a miss. You're, you know, it takes a few, it takes like a second to cast from when you hit your Q for your flame to come out. So, you know, you, I'd like to think like, oh yeah, like I'm just going to hit this enemy hero, but you're kind of projecting where they're going to be. Um, and that's not always the easiest thing to do. So yes, I would have preferred to kill the Leoric there, but I didn't. And you see here, we're just kind of dropping those, um, the Skyfall, whatever they are, the Meteors, I guess. And you see here, we're just sort of like, in terms of the, the gameplay, right, like we have all of our forts, all of the lanes are pushed. In terms of statistics, you see here Deathwing has got a ton of siege damage, a lot, you know, uh, he's the second most in terms of hero damage, good healing on himself, obviously, good XP. Um, two kills, which is fine, you know, you're not, you're not Valera. Um, six assists, though, which a lot of these are kind of the same kills, um, and no deaths. And that's really, I think, the key with Deathwing is you just, you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're going to die or get trapped by the enemy team. You always want to find ways to get yourself out when you need to. Um, use your R like this, you know, just to be very conscious of, you know, what's going on. You take out a quick uh, junk rat right there. And yeah, up here at level 20, in terms of my choice here, I like stood in the fire. Um, so this is that when you scorch the ground with your R, right, it's um, the slow is 40% more. 
the duration of it is uh, more. We use, again, the fear there just to push everybody off of us to escape because our health is starting to get low. But it's just an opportunity there um, with the R to do a lot of damage. And then we just launched the Q a little bit to just keep this Sonya down. Now you see here, um, our team is starting to really push the top lane here. I mean, that's gonna end up being how we kind of end it. Um, you know, I go up to heal and you see very quickly, you can see how the healing is working on Deathwing. It like, he goes up basically 100 health a second. Um, so it's a very quick heal. Um, and now I'm watching this, right? I'm dropping some of my uh, meteors on this, but I see Tassar get knocked out. Um, and now I'm saying to myself, well, geez, like, I don't know, maybe, you know, the objectives are about to come back up. Um, but you'll kind of see what happens here. The Valir actually makes a really great play um, up here to actually cause the game to end. So I drop down here. I end up pulling the enemy team down with me. I originally I was going to grab this camp, but I realized Junkrat and then Sonya were right here. Um, so I was a little bit out of position here. So I'm just going to use my E, just sort of annoy them. I'm going to drop my W right here um, just to cause some damage to the... Um, the Sonya. Now it also does some damage to these minions, so it really depends on what you want to do. But I'm going to drop my Q here to put out some damage um, on uh, what are these guys called? Whatever they are, the guys that throw the boulders. Um, but you're going to see here, you know, Nazebo is pushing the top lane pretty hard. His uh, his frogs are going every which way. Uh, Valera is just sort of chilling here. They're getting ready to hold mid. All four of these guys are down here. Now we can't see Butcher because he's kind of hidden um, with the Fog of War. But I'm able to just sort of go one on one with Leoric for a little bit. And then I decide, geez, I should probably um, heal up again as we get ready for this objective to come up. Um, now Zagar is just sitting on the objective. Um, so he's pushing this down. And, you know, the only downside is that if he loses this objective, we're not going to win. So Valera um, smartly here pushes this top lane. Um, um, and then you're going to see I as Deathwing realize what's happening. And Deathwing can basically sit there um, and take a ton of damage. So if you see this happening, you're going to want to draw Deathwing right here. And you're going to see me come down in just a second and then just launch your Q as soon as it comes down. Um, because again, this enemy um, base is not going to be able, the core is not going to be able to stop you at, with this much health, right? So you're just going to sit here and go Q and it's game over. Um, but you can do that for probably five to 10 seconds, right? Uh, especially with the couple of these powers that I have um, or the talents that I've chosen, you know, you have a lot of ability. So again, it's mainly staying in range. It's mainly, um, you know, just sort of pushing the lane as much as possible, um, keeping yourself alive, um, and then just stunning as much as you can and fearing and keeping people like off balance and breaking up enemy teams. But all in all, Deathwing is a very, very powerful hero. Hopefully this gives you some helpful uh, tips and tricks for how I build him. Um, if you like the content, please do like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be putting out some more Heroes of the Storm content soon. Thanks.